And welcome back everyone to RNN Special Investigation. Now, you'd think that if somebody dies in an amusement park ride, wherever it is, that that ride never be used again, right? Well, the fact is, two people died on the very same ride at Playland, and while that ride no longer at the park, thankfully, we cannot say with any certainty tonight where it is exactly, and it seems neither can anyone else. It's unbelievable. Let's bring in Regina Arsani again. She's back to explain here what seemingly is unexplainable. Well, that's right, Rich. We searched for the mind scrambler for months and came up empty handed. We learned that not one of not one person at any level of government tracks rides, even ones with a history of problems. We also looked into suggestions by some that when it comes to Westchester County, there may be a conflict of interest when it comes to owning an amusement park. 21-year-old Gabriella Garin, the young mother and ride operator who was thrown from the mine scrambler in 2007, was the third person to lose her life in a ride at Rye Playland. Two days after the tragic incident, Westchester County's response was not to defy the park's safety, but instead to defend it. County Executive Andy Spano was quoted in the New York Times saying, here we make every effort to have safe fun at this park. Every once in a while, something like this happens. At the time of Garen's death, the mine scrambler was one out of several rides at Playland not owned by the county. Reports released back in August of 2007 by the State Labor Department and the Westchester County Police deemed the incident an accident and did not find the owner of the ride, SNL Amusements, nor the park's owner, Westchester County, negligent. The two reports did find, however, that proper safety procedures were not followed by the operators of the ride. And Spano admitted that in hindsight, the county should have been more proactive in their supervision of training and safety procedures of privately owned rides like the Mind Scrambler. This is one of those things that just was in the cracks, it was just in the cracks. And to have it with a ride operator involved who, who is not just hired, this, this person's been there since 14 years old. It's just, you know, I don't know. Garen's death in 2007 and the two that preceded hers led Fox News to question Westchester County Parks Commissioner Joseph Stout, who now oversees Playland, about the park's safety and its fatality rate. Do you think that that's a good track record? I don't think that's a fair question. You have a million visitors that come here every year. Visitors whose safety highly depends on the New York State's Labor Department to inspect the rides and its operators. Although no matter what they find, the state labor department tells us they can only cite the owner of the ride for whatever is wrong and ensure he or she fixes it, even in the event of a fatality. The state labor department coming in and seeing that and knowing that it killed a child and knowing that another ride killed two children, all this happening within three years at Rye Playland, how do you not shut that, how do you not shut that park down? I don't have that authority. As I said, if the legislature gives us the authority to do things, we can do it. So your authority is just to? Inspect the rides, uh, and for, find mechanical violations with the ride, have them repaired before we allow them to operate, and to make sure that they train their operators. If they don't do what we tell them to do in some instances, we can take their, op their permit away from them so they can't operate the ride. Uh, if they operate without a permit, then we can issue a civil penalty. Uh, but. You know, it's not a, a, it's not like a criminal violation. Violations of the labor law, if they could get the local DA to take it, is a misdemeanor, Section 213. 30 days and $200, maximum penalty. And according to the State Labor Department, whether it's a violation of labor law or criminal negligence, it's up to the county police to investigate and the county's district attorney to prosecute. Something many say with the county owning the park is a blatant conflict of interest. It's one part of the government investigating another part of the government. It's really, did I do something right? Um, right my view would be it would be best to have an outside agency or, or some other outside entity come in and investigate uh, incidents. The lawyers representing the mother of seven-year-old John Kelly Cassara say this conflict of interest is just one out of many reasons why the county should lease Playland to an outside company, someone with more experience in running an amusement park. I strongly believe the county shouldn't be in the business of running an amusement park because they don't have the professional staff or the professional expertise to do this with any degree of competence. As well-meaning as they might be, 
It's something out of their area of expertise, and I think that is the danger. And an even bigger danger, why Playland, like any other fixed amusement park in the country, is not subject to federal regulation, which means there's no national tracking system for rides. A lack of oversight seen when RNN went to the home of SNL Amusements, the owners of the Mind Scrambler, and asked them what happened to the ride after two people died on it at Rye Playland. Well, you know, it was disassembled, but I don't know where it went. I mean, I really think it was probably, my honest opinion was probably just sold for the parts. But you don't know that, because he sold it all together. Yeah, the whole thing went out with the one person. So it could likely be at another park. Could, but I doubt it. Something the state labor department couldn't answer either. This ride could legitimately be rebuilt and in New Jersey right now. It, it could be. It could be in New York. No. It, it, so there's no tracking system. No, I, they have to notify us where they are and give us the. There was nothing wrong with the ride. So. We, if they sold it to somebody else, they would have to show us they got a million dollars worth of liability, show us that they have workman's comp disability, uh, you know, show us that their employees are trained and, and submit the ride to an inspection, pay their fee, and it's not a... But even though there was nothing legitimately wrong with, wrong with the ride, uh, still two people died on it. It's true. Yeah. And that ride could be at another park. There's thousands of those rides out there. There's a thousand of them out there. So before packing up the family and taking them to Playland, think about this. Your life may be in the hands of a state that doesn't know the history of the rides you are putting your kids on, or a county government who some suggest should not be in the amusement park business at all. An amusement park that has been linked to three deaths over three years. Now, not only does the state labor department nor the owner of the ride, SNL Amusements, know where the mind scrambler is, but county officials also told us they have no way of knowing what happened to it either. Rich? You know, it boggles the mind. In this one, this isn't just a Playland problem, but somebody dies on a ride. If they move that ride somewhere else, you don't know as a customer when you're going there the history of that ride, and one even thinks maybe even the vendor doesn't even know when they buy it, you know, what the, the history of that ride could be. So nobody's in charge, seems like hot potato in terms of responsibility, local, state, federal. It's true, nobody knows. Everywhere we searched, we could not get any answers. There's no federal oversight here. Um, for years, Edward Markey, he's a Democrat in Massachusetts, has tried to put through federal oversight, a bill, to look into this, to look into having oversight over fixed rides and having oversight over the tracking system. And still, that bill is sitting in the House today. Now, I know you told me lobbying interests in Washington have made that really difficult to actually get any meaningful reform done, but yeah. it's unbelievable. No tracking at all. Thank you very much, Thank Regina. You. Coming up next, everyone, we went to Playland to see what changes they have made here really since the three deaths and also to learn more about the safety in the park today. You're watching an RFL special investigation ride at your own risk.